you don't own them, what do you care? We found evidence of buried toxins. Oil, coal, <laughs> pesticides, rotting debris, chemicals, heavy metals, including arsenic, benzene, chromium, wow. mercury, and wow. lead. Hey, that's all of them. <laughs> right, they got the whole periodic table. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and you already see my two special guests, my man Johnny Randolph and the incredible Charles Bab. Actually, Johnny, you just as incredible as he is, man. Yo, tell the people what's going down, man. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Sintel? I'm, I'm happy to be on your channel, man. This is like uh, my first time, my second time doing a reaction video, and I'm doing it with two of the dopest brothers that I know. So, you know, let's 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 do this, man. Hey, yes, Chuck, man. Tell the people what's going down with you, man. What it do, people? I'm back again. We're doing the second episode. What's the name of this series again? <laughs> Fall, Fall of the House, house Usher. of Usher. Fall of the House of Usher. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, make sure you all stick yeah. to the very end because we are going to have a quick breakdown over everything that we just saw. And you're going to get a chance to know about one of my all time favorite YouTube channels, the Geekish Network. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The Domes. Such a. Peaceful. So I just got my uh, my order in the mail that I have to tell my mom that she can no longer watch my Netflix anymore without paying. Oh really? Fee. Yeah. Thank you Netflix. I love y'all, but y'all y'all trying to start beef, man. All right, like <laughs> Netflix out here breaking up families. <laughs> I started my clock in, did my morning rounds, and there it was. You know, I read a story once about a guy who diddled dead bodies. Uh, ne diddled dead bodies. Necrophiliac. Mm -hmm. He has uh, a word for it. I never heard of taking the cast on this is so fire. I'm just leaving. Make me confiscate that camera. You can't unless I'm being charged with the crime. Don't push me, Mr. Dupin. I told you before this is serious. Mr. Dupin. Hmm? Sir. Not my fault. The guard made some assumptions. This must be the you got that oh, post Civil War uh, post uh, Afro. I mean, not post Civil Rights Afro. No, I mean, Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> post Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> my daughter. Right before the Jerry Curl hit. Right. right? So Miss Brady calls me this morning in a panic. She got a call from the cemetery that her mother's grave was disturbed. You see, here's where you fucked up. So I went down. Because you're a fucking idiot. Because there have <laughs> five graves exhumed in the last four weeks, five corpses mm. missing. Mm. Wow. Bodies vanished into thin air. I don't like mm -hmm. you, man. I've had issues with you people in the past. You what? People. Oh damn, off is still white as cream cheese. In case you're worried we're invading. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We Cheat mm. the dying, we fleece the poor, mm. promote the racist, let the demons run amok. This world needs changing. Tell them, Japan. <laughs> if you could catch them all, if you could take all of it, all the greed, the foulness, the rot in the world, and sit down across from it, what would you say? Mm, that's interesting. Is that docs prescribe them ligadone, pitch it like extra strength Tylenol, fast forward a year. They're shooting up heroin behind dumpsters. Damn. Do you know how much ligadone my wife takes every day? <laughs> She's fine. Wasn't your wife a heroin addict before you met? She is a success story from every angle, I agree. <laughs> he flipped that. You marketed it non-addictive anyway because you wanted more than the hundreds of millions you were pulling before mm. ligadone hit the market. Like oxy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that number even exist? That's an idiot question. Of course not. But we aren't here to talk about that. We are here to talk about. Oh, you said uh -oh. you weren't gonna look back. Uh oh. Look, 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 look. My son. This dude create like the the T virus from Raccoon City or something? Because it really doesn't matter now. Anyway, it doesn't doesn't matter at all. Not since I killed him. Damn. Whoa. Mm. Barry was the first of my children to die. And I know you think you know how that happened. I thought you might have been a grandchild, but that's not. No, absolutely no. not. Yeah, that's. It's really dope at a night nightclub. Hey, where are my eggs? Did you eat my fucking eggs? Do you care? They're fucking eggs. Oh damn! You about to stab me? You say oh. it's crazy. Yes. Huh. Here they are. I found them. Money and privilege. <laughs> no, I'm still pissed your dad didn't go for the club idea. <laughs> this dude just like bro. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, you never fuck family. Apparently, you just hunt them. I don't know. Maybe this is a good thing. My dad does this fucking thing. Damn. Just. Okay, that's not true. And you didn't return my calls until your company was invited. Sorry, mate. I got. <clears throat> Look at this man. Suit. 
And Mark Hamill still got the black gloves on. Oh, so he might be a bag man for real. If you don't own them, what do you care? We found evidence of buried toxins. Oil, coal, <laughs> pesticides, rotting debris, chemicals, heavy metals, including arsenic, benzene, chromium, wow. mercury, and... Wow. Oil. Hey, that's all of them. <laughs> right, they got the whole periodic table. <laughs> a year, due respect, we keep having the same Don't meeting. tear them down just yet, actually. Some of these are a fucking gold mine. If this one is ours, I want to see it. It's perfect for this idea. <laughs> this idiot. <laughs> because Arthur has the power of six or seven attorneys. And the last thing he fucking needs is Gucci Caligula. <laughs> You're only here because my father fucked a blackjack dealer on a yacht in Cannes 25 years ago. Damn. They fucked her so hard that the estate cracked into six pieces instead of five. Fucking bastard. Damn. Damn. Woo. Actually, make that 20 grand. Oh, baby, 20 grand. And it should be masquerade. Yeah, I mean, yep. it's still going to go Mark wrong, Blake. but. <laughs> If they would have put in a right investment, you know, it could have been something legitimate, but they're literally testing on monkeys. <laughs> Poor Caesar. Free Caesar. Free Caesar. <laughs> Free Caesar. <laughs> they brought him back to, that got normal. Caesar back to life. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Flatline. Yeah, flatline. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Nothing about this is okay. All right, this week we're gonna lose funding in six months. And if she lived, the you sure you're killing people, <laughs> killing monkeys, mm. but it'll kill monkeys. humans too. The last thing we should be talking about right now <laughs> is human trials. Human, right? Trials. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah you, you should be defunded. And then she lying about it. subjects are reacting as predicted. She's talking about the monkey's fine. I'll happily bring them over later. And the monkey fertilizer, right? I mean, yeah, of course. It's... Look at me. I need this to work. Come on, man. I don't know. Mm, you much. for real. You want a little Back to that earlier question. Like, what's the number that you need to make you say you've made it? Mm. Yeah. It's something, it's something we're missing. Don't you that kind of weight? Wait, you've been watching fucking Narcos or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, what about Viagra? This ain't Top Boy. <laughs> and why the fuck do you need Viagra? You're in your 20s. You, you're basically 80% cum. I can fucking smell it. Right. Look, man, I just want this thing to be epic. <laughs> Dad doesn't believe me. And 80% cum. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> it's harder for me, and you know that. You know that. But the rest don't. It's mm. hard enough for the bastards, but it's harder for me for some reason. Like I'm extra bastard. Like you get I'm extra black in you. <laughs> yeah. Come on, on now. Come on. <laughs> let's let's not pretend. the bastards from the normal kids? They're going to be rolling before they. Well, I guess he was married to their mother. To and they'll the jump on it just for like he said to other one. He was like, you know, goes down on my mom. You got my dad fucked oh, you on a vacation. <laughs> Your mom on a vacation. Be on you. That's him though. I think those two are bastard. I think yeah, bastard has a racial tone implied to it. Yeah. yeah. Non-white children are bastards. Yeah, not the wife. And who's the wife? Because his wife is his sister. And the minute you figure that out, bruv, mm -hmm. you're going to be unstoppable. All right. At least he got some support from his from his brother. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bastards got to stick together. Right. Bastards got to stick together this world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a drug rep, you were encouraged to report this kind of issue to your supervisors at Fortunato. Uh, I was not. Uh, I was discouraged. They really got the Fox News sign up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've been trying to steer clear from it. So she must be like the media mogul of the family, seeing as how she's got like yeah. five screens. See if you can find something. And if you can't find something, we may have to just find something. She dressed all sexy. I don't know. I'm like, where are the stockings at? <laughs> I'm sorry. If somebody talked to the feds, they were really smart about it. I know. The ushers aren't idiots. Except Perry. <laughs> Get me Vic's yeah. file. They keep sleeping on Perry, man. I'm starting to root for Perry a little bit now, man. <laughs> <laughs> starting to get a little over the top with it. Never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Are you speaking? <laughs> yeah. Well. He must do his job very well because yeah. that was almost a fireable moment. I was. What did she do to you? I'm like, what did your sister do to you? You really do hate that bitch. Yo, 
You know, fairies have black, well, and I, you know I'm gonna say it. Why black the folks always the first to die? <laughs> nah, he's he's Latin American, right? <laughs> he's, well, he's not Latin American. He's just Latin. Oh. I thought he was Latin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought exactly. I thought he was the one that was talking no. about. Okay, All right. the, the clinical trials of the black girl, then the mixed girl. Ugh. Dry ass party. Yeah, works last. We time. haven't seen his mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. We just tie in, like. Hooking up a hot tub. No, you don't know what was in those tanks, homie. That's what I was thinking. I was like, ain't no telling what's in that water that's gonna be coming out those sprinklers. Yeah. All the shit that they done buried in the in the in the grounds around there. Like, I'm a kid. Number four, I think. Late sixties, kitschy as hell. And the cup Oh, look who creeping. Yeah. And in the last little word bubble. It says, whoever has the gold makes their. Oh! That's Perry. That's Perry. They killed Perry. Wow. Whoa. I need to not be so close to my TV. <laughs> and he was going to say the golden rule is whoever has the gold makes the rule. Makes the rule. Effects. Thinking, problem solving, spatial. Reasoning and memory. So is that what he was trying to mm -hmm. cure that he has? And it causes hallucinations. There's no cure, you know. Oh, he has it. Yeah. The medications, the antipsychotics, the beta blockers, the stimulants. No, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, to get her. And maybe that's why he said he needed this two hundred million dollars to produce something. The the. the the mesh over the heart. Mm. I remember that comic too in the eighties. Characters in a medieval kingdom called it. Yup. More of a Calvin and Hobbes guy. Hey, one of the OGs. <laughs> Boondocks always rules, though. <laughs> in that office with Rufus Griswold, the original cocksucker. Hey, there's the Wizard of Ed. I remember that man. I haven't thought about that comic in so long. Whoever makes it has to. Mm. And this is the first mm. pill in history for all of us. And this little pill is a world without pain. Sound like he's selling dope. <laughs> That's what he is to it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where? I'm on uh, sub two. So you're in the mail room? I'm in the uh, communication logistics office. I don't work oh, in the mail room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Fortunato will be a miracle and you will be the new messiah because i think they kill him they kill him yep and that's how they take over fortune they go to company fortunato yep get them signed first and that's what they killed on the night of new year's eve daily pain oh, he pitching the hell out of this minute and i saw all of it and i knew it did not have to be that way mm. i'm so sorry sweetie. he's wrong First child. Yep. That's uh Reddick. Richard Reddick. Yeah, Roger. Reddick. No, Re Fred Reddick. Fred Reddick. Roderick or whatever they got. Yeah, Redrick. <laughs> Redrick. And you're seeing me at my best, that's for sure. None of these days feeling like I got beat with a pillowcase full of doorknobs. Be quiet. Oh no, that ain't the first Oh no, no, yeah, that's not the first. Find another mm -hmm. opportunity somewhere else. I mean, I know there's a connection for you there because of your mom and, and I, I guess your dad, too. Oh, you the sister's about to go oh, she's about to go in. in. Madeline, boy. She, she bought up her mom like, nah. Like, What's happening? It's <laughs> amazing she lived with no other thought but to love and be loved by me. Yeah, your brother is smitten. She's like, <laughs> who is this guy? Financial market investments predictive medical care hell an algorithm could write movies and tv shows well that was a nice show they like sag that was unnecessary fresh yeah, after strike too right they, that's intentional as hell mm -mm. Oh, we're gonna go right through him they and kill his ass too <laughs> us. Uh. no problem with that Woo! She's right? about that lie. Oh, you get going. 
She'd have got me fired up. I'd have been like, you damn right. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> your Facebook, your Instagram, your profile, your posts, your email, micro data. And then it makes another me. An AI approximation, but. Netflix off the chain. <laughs> yeah. They off the chain. They're going they all in, aren't the they? They laid out the about everything. all the writers and the actors on their own show. It is a new piece from my immortality collection, and it is beautiful. I'm going to use. Got a minute. That's like the through line between the both of them: a drug that can make you immortal, and now she's talking about immortality through this Egyptian thing. She's on the hunt, baby. Okay. Yes, she is. Oh, mm. come in, sweetheart. <laughs> wow, they're going at it. Hi, See, this wife looked like a child. She <laughs> I thought it was a child, real quick. And you know, it's sitting on the lap. <laughs> yeah. She looks like, what's her name? We should bond. That's right. You two should bond. My oh, two God. favorite women together in one room. I'm going to get them to whip us up some pizzas. She looks like she's wearing a furniture pad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pillow. It's like a pillow. <laughs> no, did not I'm sorry. Take advantage uh, of somebody that was you know, in the I ER. He did. <laughs> he did. Death's door. He did. He came up. And his his line was, "I'm the maker of the pills." <laughs> yeah, that was, oh yeah, that was his pickup line. <laughs> and then at midnight, the rain's gonna fall, and we're all gonna dance and fuck and feel more alive in five minutes than Freddie ever will. You should come. Dang! <laughs> wow. Without faces, without words, without judgment, wet and hard. And all yours. <laughs> he's he's nailing it. He's getting there. Yeah, he's, he's getting nailing it. it. And she That's hasn't said no. <laughs> Wait for a text or I don't know. Throw wow. It it's up to you. And he gave it to Burn. Wow. That was game though. Bars. I gotta give it to yeah, him. Bars. Bars. Yeah. They're being as dumb as they keep making them out to be. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Nah. I'm rooting for him, man. There's something. Yeah. I mean, I know he ain't gonna That's make it. He's, he's the, the first, first one to die. Yep. Yeah. 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 He looks corny. <laughs> he looks like a young kid that's about that life. He's drinking. No, I'm talking about him. I ain't talking yeah. about Perry. Perry's dope. Yeah, yeah we, we, Perry, yeah. <laughs> he can serve you food, romance, an intimate dinner, like a, a good date, an anniversary date, maybe that kind of vibe. I wonder how often they do this, share, share a bed with some stranger. Dude, you are hot. Super yeah. high. Remember, this is after he took whatever that blue drug thing yeah. is on the tongue. Yeah, yeah. Two, two of them did it with both, uh, both of them. Yeah. Took another something. He going to OD, right? Probably going to OD. But remember, his body was all twisted and stuff, like something, like he got caught in a fire or something. Yeah. Yeah. One bartender. You're not in your body of nature. Is that all the staff leaving? Yep, all the staff is leaving. All it burns on fire, probably. You better listen to your conscience if that's what that is. <laughs> Said it's so sad. Yeah, you better go. Electric, they're gonna get electrocuted, aren't they? Acid, probably. Oh my Not gosh. Everybody. Burns everybody. Wow. Oh my goodness. Everybody burns up on the inside. Because of the chemicals. Right? Because yep. they talked about it. All the very yep. all the chemicals that was burnt and buried there. Everybody yeah. chemically burns up in it. Yeah. Because they were dumping the shit into the oh. ground. And this is yeah. Just oh, bones God. and sludge. 
feet. At this point, you're praying to die. Yeah. God, you got to be kidding me. Oh, no. that's the worst. Did it the sister-in-law? Did she make it out? We don't, I know. don't know. Oh, nice. That's not bad. That was a pretty good episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. All right, so the mystery lady in the very end. Is she real? Is she a spirit? Or is she just a figment of somebody's imaginations? Or is she something else? What is she? She seems to be like hubris, the embodiment of hubris. Because mm. she was still in the space, but all the bartenders left too. Yeah, that part. They all like other people so like, I like, maybe she's the one who's going to revenge the family. Maybe she is a daughter or something. Or like, I don't know, like, I feel like everything that the crimes that he has committed, mm. it is going to be used to destroy the entire family. Mm. So, for example, like they talked about it, like you all have made this place into a toxic dump. Mm -hmm. So their death was the result of a toxic dump being fed into it. Now, is she mm. real or not real? I don't know yet. I don't we're getting to that but she seemed to have this keen sense when they first met in the bar in 1979 without uh without them telling her anything that they had did some sort of crime right mm -hmm. and she's now popping up right when the first crimes are starting to transpire so mm -hmm. I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know if she real or not real. I feel like this show is not supernatural. It's more psychological. So I'm having to say she's real at some point, but know something. Yeah. So there was an interesting moment uh, and we're, we're kind of watching, reviewing some of the scene right now. Let me uh, go back. <clears throat> there was an interesting moment when who we think is his mama sitting behind the lawyer of regarding uh, Roderick, Roderick, the, the main guy. And he's having he's having like a drink with the lawyer in the very beginning of the show. And the woman or the thing that we think that's behind him is his mother. And she walks and there's this moment where they where the camera and her walking up and and the lawyer that's sitting in the middle is almost lined up. And I was thinking, is she going to walk and stop just out of sight of this dude, you know, or mm -hmm. is she going to walk in front? And then he has like this kind of reaction. He didn't have a reaction, so. No. I feel like a spirit, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. And and that's just assuming if it's the mom. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that woman. I don't know who that woman is. Honestly, we just know yeah. she's like the bartending lady. He said he killed all his kids. All his uh, kids. Maybe yeah. it is the version of him. And maybe it's I think like it's psychosis. Mm -hmm. I definitely think it's psychosis, and I think the drug has something to do with that right he's taking the drug so again everything that he's done to hurt other people yeah kind of coming back to him and again we do get that scene where he falls out and there's the crow i'm sorry, sorry the raven that's staring mm -hmm. over him and i don't know how we get here but like again a raven is a sign of death and it's but it's a really big thing in pose writing though too. yeah it is but that's what it is the, the raven is about that it's about parrying yeah souls to the other side mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and no perry mm. died <laughs> perry ended the way he started he was laying down in the bed surrounded by people in hedonism mm -hmm. and when he died he was surrounded by people in hedonism yeah <clears throat> So we, we got a chance to dig a little bit deeper into some of the kids. Um, there is uh, what I thought was kind of interesting was the one that's kind of like in part of the, the whole social media aspect of the company. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's trying to help the family business by getting in and digging a little bit deeper or if she's trying to find dirt on the family business. 
by digging a little bit deeper. But what is kind of interesting is that she leaves a very uh, different kind of lifestyle as well regarding the relationship that she has with her interns mm-hmm. or for all we know, mm-hmm. maybe cousins or I have, I have no yeah. idea. But I did kind of like appreciate this introduction to this particular kid. Um, is there anybody else that either one of you guys are pointing that either one of you all saw uh, regarding other the kids or grandkids uh, in this in this particular episode that might you know you'd want to speak on the granddaughter the granddaughter keeps surprising me uh her theme seems to be really consistent in like she's the smartest one or almost the moral conscious of this kind of mess family. family she's trying mm-hmm. to put it all together to see where we yeah. are where the father's got this the grandfather's got this dark side she's coming to it from like light side and both of them trying to like put together how to resolve all of these murders so okay. I'm, I'm interested in her and her story and her storyline going forward yeah how about you chuck well who's interesting doesn't even necessarily necessarily have to even be the kids or the grandkids who who's interesting in this episode for you I actually find the the grandfather to be more interesting in this episode because you see everybody him piecing together what's going on. His wife seemed very interesting too. Like hmm. I don't know if she made it out and what drove her to go there. Okay. Like 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 the first son's wife. Yes. Yeah. Ah, like, okay. So you're just saying yes. What yeah. drove her to go there? Yeah. I mean, she, Perry's not that convincing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he he may have ribs, but I'm not sure if that's the case. She came ready. She ready did. like fully ready and we don't even know if she made she it had a i'm mask assuming in her she locker. did mm-hmm. right yeah yeah she was she was good to go and, uh, um the kitchen right. table scene was kind of impressive too like uh with uh what the, the, the father and the sister sitting around with the first wife or whatever it is yeah and yeah explaining the algorithm and they're explaining about how to think bigger and yes. older that, that yes. was yes yeah and i'm wondering what happened to the first wife yeah yes that is a very 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 good point it also kind of like um let me to piggyback off of that it also kind of set the tone to the differences in the brother and the sister and the things that they're similar in mm-hmm. they're very similar in the fact that they're very highly intelligent they're doing high level things during during yeah. a very earlier time in history dealing with pharmaceuticals and another one dealing with technology um yet there's also a, some pretty big differences one is absolutely tactical and logical and that is madeline and her brother seems to be a little bit more in the spirit of love he looks like he loves his woman they were having like a cool little yeah. little moment together and she and madeline looks like she might as well have been looking at you know two aliens like, doing like, like who she was you absolutely become? disconnected who are you? she's like who are you like he was yeah. doing the love poem and she was cited back yeah and like their love pledge and he looked at her like she looked at him like what are you doing yeah. And when the wife mentioned their mother's name, she was Ooh. like, "Don't you ever mention my mother's name ever <laughs> <Yeah>. again?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take, take my yeah. mama's name about yeah. your mouth. <laughs> it could have been her actually actually realizing her brother's weak, uh, or or is showing his weakness. Showing his weakness. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, to kind of go back to the strange lady again, I thought was a really great scene and they spent a lot of time. Um, and that is the mystery lady, the bartending lady, mm-hmm. uh, talking to Perry. Uh, it's it's very like we don't know what what she is, but I thought the scene with them just being all in red, it felt very evil to me. Yeah, felt kind of like felt like kind of demonic. They do some interesting things with colors. He comes back into the, into the party, everything is all blue. Um, there's this weird dead dry brownish look when he's been acidified and this that and the third um but um i guess uh, that i guess i'm saying all that just to say like i think that was one of my favorite favorite scenes uh visually speaking you know from yeah. you said there was a chuck to piggyback what you said regarding like everybody's laid he died like how how the episode ended with perry kind of like in the middle of all of his debauchery and then you see like everybody's mm-hmm. burned out and all the acidic bodies and stuff like that it's kind of like in that same kind of scene except for everybody's dying i just no. think um uh the visuals uh deserve a bit of a hat tip outside of just you know them the the great storytelling and them taking this from a legend uh any closing yeah. thoughts between uh between either yeah. of you regarding what you've seen or just anything in general the the scenery actually set the tone like all the colors have actually set the tone like the scene that we see with the red when they're in the room talking it's a very seductress type of environment and it's in red and it's showing passion but she's not being passionate to him at all he's being like i know these things about you and you don't know and so he's cause like it's like it's a scene of passion but there is no passion there there's no there's truly no seduction 
No physical seduction. Mm. She does feel a little omnipotent, a little mm-hmm. bit. Randy, what's sticking out for you when you want to close out for the whole thing? Well, just uh, to piggyback on what you guys were saying, the name of it is, you said, Satel said, masquerading. Like, everybody's in this episode, we're, they're kind of taking off the mask, and we're seeing who they are. Cuck holds, behind the scenes, sex scenes, who he really is. So, mm-hmm. this was a really good episode, thematic wise. Uh, you know, pulling back that extra layer and i'm so i said episode one was good enough to get me to see episode two episode two is good enough to me to say hey i'm investing in this i'm i need to finish this out just just from this episode alone like Mm -hmm. where are we going with this Oh, that is a very good point, man. I'll save my piece to and piggyback off what you're saying. Uh, the first one, you know, I've always said pilots are kind of tough because they show you, they put their best foot forward and you can't really depend on the rest of the series being as good as a pilot. And so I kind of like was like, okay, I like the first episode, but mm-hmm. the second episode has definitely got me like, okay, I'm all on board. I, I kind of can get a good idea of what the tone and of this is going to be. I'm, I'm interested. And it's interesting because it's a slow burn. Yeah. That's very true. It's yeah. very slow. Subtle. Slow and subtle, which yeah. is good. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, this is a good place to kind of like close this out. Uh, let us know uh, what we got right, what we got wrong. And the fun one is always, uh, what did we miss? Please be gentle in the comments and and <laughs> and answer in the context of the episode order. Please, no spoilers. Uh, the big thing here is I want to help, not help. Uh, I want to push how incredible the Geekish Network is and how fortunate this channel is to have these two members of the Geekish Network. Uh, Chuck, I'm going to go ahead and let you grab the mic and let everybody know what the Geekish Network is about. The Geekish Network is a BIPOC network, Black, Indigenous, People of Color network that actually talk about everything geek. We have a Star Wars podcast called Pod Squadron. We have a, a daily news podcast is currently Monday, Wednesday, and Friday called The Geek Beast. And we have also a TV streaming podcast where we stream a whole season of a show in a week and let you know if you should binge it or not. And that's called Binge Worthy. Uh, we always want to build new shows coming in the fall and in the winter months. Well, I guess the winter months now. Uh, <laughs> and new Year's, you know, in the spring. And hope to see you there on the Geekish Network. Yeah, don't worry. If you can catch all that, there'll be a link in the description for all the ways that you can connect to it. Easy peasy and the squeezy. All right, you guys, go ahead and shout out your show, socials real quick, and we'll throw out these peace signs. How can they reach you? Uh, Johnny, let's start off with you. Uh, you can reach me at Johnny Randolph on Twitter and all across uh, social media. All right. Check A. What's going on, man? How can they reach you, man? You can reach me at Charles Bab across all the socials Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, whatever socials you have, and the Geekish <laughs> Network across YouTube, Twitch, and uh, Twitter and Instagram. Hey, don't worry. Like I said, there'll be a link in descriptions. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you've just been enjoying the way we've just been chopping it up, hit that subscription button. And of course, give us that thumbs up and the bell icon because that's how you'll know when the next episode comes out, which will be right around the corner. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, y'all. Peace.